I heard some very loud Devo music, and I saw, oh, where's that coming from? So I just start following the music, and I look, and I see this guy, and he's in a room, and uh, he's got Devo music, and he's painting these black lines, each line to the beat of the music, and he had painted the, the floor and the walls and the ceiling, and he had everything but the corner, and he was pulling himself into the corner, and he was painting the last little line in the corner, and I just stood there, and I looked at him, and I thought to myself, well, this is the, these are the kind of people that I was expecting to meet. So I just started talking to him, and then we just kind of became friends, just like that. New York was a, a giant um, canvas, and there was obviously a lot of graffiti, which we were very inspired by, the subways, uh, the cars, the streets, everything. It was just like insane. So we kind of thought, well, let's take the tools of graffiti and turn it around. I guess, in a way, um, the word street art was kind of what we were doing. When Keith Haring first came to this campus and what he was trying to do with it, whether it was the AIDS crisis, right, or making art just accessible to the masses and taking outside a white cube altogether, we have this wonderful legacy that started here and now we're picking up that conversation much later on. And it's, it's exciting to know that folks like Risk and Kenny had close connections. And Kenny Sharp is actually a roommate of Keith Haring. So it's wonderful to have uh, physical connections, but also that conceptual story that's happened here at Art Center to celebrate. I always was an artist. There, there are only two things that I could actually do or would do as a kid, and that's draw and play baseball. Uh, and eat donuts, three. But I was an original hippie in San Francisco and totally cosmic and stuff like that. And it took, it took me a long time to make art about social and political issues directly. I just went and got mad and found myself drawing Ronald Reagan and uh, members of his cabinet. And I called them uh, men with no lips because they were so unforthcoming, not telling us anything. And, uh, but I just had them as little paintings. And, uh, you know, so artists, once a year, they go to a public space, put up their work, stand against the wall and go, hello, hello, thank you, thank you. And, but these were, this was art about social and political issues and for regular people. And I, didn't think that I was necessarily reaching an audience that I, or the people that I wanted to communicate with. If I took this much time putting up one piece, you'd be bailing me out, yeah, which would be great. And I think, you know, getting arrested on that level of enforcement uh, is an, an education in the judicial system of the United States, which you don't get in school. I was forced to stop doing illegal graffiti, and um, you know it was fine with me. You know, I, I just you know art is what I love doing, whether it's illegal or, or legal. Um, and I was forced to stop in Los Angeles, but I, I go all around the world, so I get to do little things here and there when I want. Now that it's a popular art form and, and it's it's mainstream, people consider like the art changing, but it's really not. I think they just evolve into different genres of work. Like you know, my gallery work or my mural work is totally different than my graffiti, so it's just a different genre. So, I don't know that this stuff changes, you just uh, change chapters, I guess, in your life. Because it's outside in, inside out. This work belongs on clothing, it belongs on the exteriors of buildings, it belongs inside buildings, it belongs on products, it belongs everywhere. And so I wanted to use that as a moment to sort of shine at Art Centre. I wanted Art Centre to really have this groundbreaking moment, particularly as we are emerging into a multi-campus school. And importantly, I wanted the students to see that Something like street art, which perhaps they may not connect to as illustrators ultimately, was something 
that could lead them in a new direction with their work. I graduated from Art Center in 2002. I had a really good time when I was a student here. I made a lot of good friends and uh, it really kind of like got me started. I think it's a fun time to be a mural painter. I, I call myself a mural painter. I, I used to do graffiti. This is a mural. This is legal. You know, I have permission to paint it. I was a graffiti artist for a long time and that's one of the things you do. You glide around quietly at night. You know, you're, you're silent. You're sneaking around in the shadows. It's very much an owl thing, cruising around at night. Initially that piece is a collaboration between myself and Phil Stern. With, but it's downtown and I added the peace fingers. So it's just the face and the shoulders, the original photograph, there's no hands. Interpreting that photograph into my style, I added the peace fingers to it. And that was 2011? 2011, that was the first mural I had uh -huh. to paint. And between now and then, I feel like the gloves have like totally come off and he's like ready to fight. Like peace is like an afterthought at this point, you know? Right. It's all gonna be popular. What's, what's, what's hated on now or what's underground now will be popular in the future, you know? For my mural and, and my outdoor work, it, I like it really big and bold and, and you know, because there, there are no letters, there is, there is no imagery, it's just to evoke emotion with color, so I need it as big as possible. My work has a very ethereal yin-yang quality and it's, um, you know, I, I kind of play off things and stuff like that, so I wanted it to be as wild as possible and I wanted it to be organic and loose because Art Center is so structured. Um, so, you know, a lot of my new mural work has a lot of taped off straight lines and I left those off of this one on purpose because it is Art Center, you know, I wanted a real contrast. So one of the things that kind of feels cool about doing this project uh, is back in 1977, uh, I did not get accepted to Art Center. And so it's nice to be doing this. <laughs> I like the stuff that is more from the street, that has a little more um, spontaneity. I kept envisioning driving up the 110 and seeing the tower and being like, I wanted, I had this image in mind that I wanted to do that would just pop red. You see it from far away. So that's kind of what I did first. We wanted art to get out of the elitist world where it was only a few people were allowed to understand or enjoy and bring it out um, so it would be something that could actually inspire and um, educate and just get people thinking and changing their perception of, of the world. 